Chapter 32. Idolatry. One of the things most severely condemned in the Bible is idolatry. Idolatry means worshiping any god other than the Lord. It means worshiping man-made gods. Every false god is something created by man, either by his hands or by his mind, whereas the living God is beyond man's ability to conceive or to represent. When man tries to live his own life in independence from God, he is guilty of idolatry. He has made himself his own God. Man's original and basic sin is to be his own God, knowing or determining for himself what constitutes good and evil. Genesis 3, 5. This is why St. Paul sees conversion as a turning to God from idols. 1 Thessalonians 1, 9. Idolatry is also declared to be faithlessness to the living God, and it is therefore described as adultery. Those who serve anyone other than God, the Lord, are declared over and over again to be guilty of whoredom. Idolatry thus, from the biblical point of view, is not merely an ancient practice, but a present fact. Every man who lives for himself, and who lives by his own word rather than the word of God, is an idolater. He has made himself his own God, and his own word, or the word of the mob, is his scripture. This is man's great sin, and all other sins spring from this one. Hence the first and key commandment of the ten is, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Exodus 23. To cleanse our lives and our homes of idols means above all else to dethrone ourselves. It is not our will, but the Lord's which must be done. It means that not we, but God is the Lord. This is the meaning of the Apostle John's earnest plea, Keep yourself from idols. 1 John 5, 21.